If you're recording in full screen, some details that you're recording may be too small for users to see. So you want to then use this feature called the pan and zoom. This will allow you to zoom in and be able to see details that you can't see normally. Now, a big note on this, you don't want to be using this too much, going zooming in and zooming out and moving all around because you could actually make somebody sick. Now, to, to zoom in, you click on the playhead where you wish to, uh, to zoom. Click the zoom and pan, pan zoom, and, zoom and pan tab. You then grab one of the handlebars. I'm going to grab the upper left here and then you drag down. As you're dragging, notice what happens to the preview uh, video play, uh, player on the left-hand side that it will mirror uh, your zoom. Now a blue arrow um, with a little circle at the end will be displayed on the video track so that you know that's your zoom. To pan you want to place your mouse in the middle of the zoom window until it turns to a four-headed arrow and then you simply hold the mouse button down, the left mouse button down, and you drag wherever you want. Again, you got to be careful not to do this too much. Now, after you've zoomed in, at some point you want to restore to the screen, to the, to the video, to the full screen. To do this, you place the mouse head on where you want to zoom back in and go to full screen we'll go right there and you click on the full screen icon in the zoom and pan uh, tab and you'll notice that it automatically goes back to full screen a blue arrow will appear on the next one that you want to do now what you also want to do is always preview what you've just done and that is simply to move the playhead back just a little bit and then click on the play button and you'll notice that that went zoomed in and zoomed out pretty quickly so now what you may want to do is to increase or decrease the zooming in and zooming out now to do that you want to um, zoom in on the timeline by clicking on the little ball here on the zoom and then zoom in so that you can get a better idea of where your zooms are and how long they are. You then want to click on the zoom you want to decrease the speed of the zooming in so that it is highlighted. You place your mouse over the small white circle on the left arrow and drag to the left to increase that zoom. So what will happen now if I scroll back you'll kinda notice that it takes a longer time to zoom in and again we can preview it and again you may wanna if you ever want to move one, you just take your mouse and move, put it on highlighted and then move it over a little bit. That way you're, you're not reducing the possibility of it zooming in and zooming out too quickly and making somebody sick.